Today we're going to talk about bookmarks, a really useful feature in Visual Studio. And what it allows you to do is to drop in bookmarks in various places in your code so you can get back to them easily. Let's go see what that looks like. So I'm going to open up some code. And if I want to get back to this line, for example, all I have to do is either click this little icon up here, which is toggle a bookmark, and it'll tell you that the keyboard shortcut is Control KK, which is always my preference. So if I drop in a bookmark by doing Control KK, that toggles a bookmark on, and you can see it's on because of this little icon here on the left-hand side. If I do Control KK again, that should toggle it off. Yep, there we go back on and you can have multiple bookmarks in a single file let's put one in lower down in this file and then if you put them in other files and they don't have to be C sharp files you can do them in CSS files for example any type of file I think there we go there's one in the CSS file let's go put one in another foot file and then what you can do is you can loop through them by doing uh, control K N Keep going through forwards or control KP for previous and go back the other way. And I believe you can also click these little icons up here. Yep, move to the previous bookmark and move to the next bookmark. What you can also do is show a little window which lists all your bookmarks by doing control KW. And then at a glance, you can see all your bookmarks and you can go straight to them from there. You can even, if you so desire, rename these bookmarks. Now, I've not quite found a use for that yet, but you can do it if you want. There you go. So that is bookmarks. I hope you find that useful. I certainly find that feature useful, and I hope you do too. Stay tuned for the next tip. Make sure you follow me on YouTube and Twitter to be kept up to date. Thank you. Bye.